today we are going to be getting the Bowman crash daily bias using price action. Um, and for this strategy, uh, personally, when I'm doing price action, m most times I start on the daily time frame or a much bigger time frame, maybe H4 or the weekly. It depends on the asset that I'm trading, but many times I don't go beyond. I don't normally go beyond the daily time frame. So when you're looking for, for, for the daily bias, basically you're looking at the activity of the day, what's going to happen in the activity of the day. Uh, and now for me, when I come on the charts, I need to identify any of these three things. So before I place an entry, I have to know whether we are in a consolidation, a continuation, or a reversal. So which means each one, each one of these calls for a specific action. So if I'm trading on the daily time frame and then the market is consolidating, it's going sideways. The first thing that comes to my mind, if it's just going sideways like this, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is that the market is going to be choppy, which means if at all I take buying positions here and, the, and I reach here, I, I, I take profit, you, you get. And then if I reach here and then I can sell, that's basically it. Now, I'm looking at this on a daily time frame. I'm looking for these things on the daily time frame. Either we are in a consolidation, a continuation, or a reversal. So now, the next thing that we that we, that I identify. Now, I'm going to be using a practical example just over here. This is uh, Boom 1000. Boom 1000. So, I told you on the daily time frame, I don't mark up a lot of things. But I can mark out the recent breaks of structure or recent consolidations. So I did uh, some analysis on the same, uh, I think in this third last video, uh, in one of the most recent videos about this, you get, and then you were analyzing how you take an entry from this point to these points here. So now at least I can see one of the most recent uh, breaks of, uh, significant break of a string structure. So this is the most recent swing structure that was broken so which means i told you which means what is the uh, previous high the previous swing high is this one so now for me i believe that this high here is now ideally it becomes a protected high and then this one uh this one here becomes a targeted low now i talked about these things in 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 the in the recent episode so you can watch them so which means my bias, much as I'm taking entries that are buying from this point to this point here, I know that if I get reversal patterns, at least I'm going below here. You get? So which means here my head, my head is still biased towards selling. You get? It's more biased towards selling, which means now on the day time frame, what do I look out for? Because I know we get into the range. I told you the market gets back into, the market gets back into, into into the premium to sell which we got here the market bounced back to the premium and now they sell they come below here they take profit here they come they get into premium you get so they come let's say up to this well, let's say this point they come get into premium and then they sell you get so we need to be careful with that i'm looking at this on the daily time frame you get on the daily time frame so now i think you can see now this area here before we broke structure here you can see that the market was in a consolidation remember i'm building up the bias but this thing when you gain uh experience when you gain experience it takes up a short time so now this is a consolidation now if we broke when we broke before we broke structure we can see that we get this little consolidation over here what does it signify it signify and it signifies an area of uh, supply, you get? So it means prices, when we reach this zone here, it's a hot selling zone. But then we can see that we have some minor uh, swing high here, over here. So what does it mean? Even it's possible that the market can reach out for that high. What really happens? If at all we come and break it above, if at all we come and break above it, then we can target then which means we can start targeting these eyes so which means we shall be expecting the market to be tapping back into uh into the discount that's that's the anticipation we tap into the discount and then we move higher but then at least 
that didn't happen which means this one also becomes our target too but what is our what is our interest now you can see that the market pretty much consolidated here so much you get it consolidated here too, so much so now i told you the order block rise here you get the order block rise in this zone but at least we know that we are more biased towards the order block given that this is where the impulse move happened now at least we know any entry above 50 you get any, any entries above this level here so we are going to be looking generally at the area above here and now what am i interested in i told you uh in most recent videos i i showed you how we can deal with this uh rejection uh, these uh rejections on candles also if it's a, a large rejection you get so now given that we are in given that we are in premium we know we have to pick up orders up here you get we know we have to pick up orders up here but then we know this is a supply area and we know another block lies here you get the moment the moment given that we're on the daily time frame, the moment i see a daily candle that has a long week on it now we are rejecting up what does it mean why have i drawn these uh two horizontal lines now for these ones let me change the color i'm going to change their color to red you get i'm going to change their color to red to differentiate them from the rest now this area here this part of the rejection this part of the rejection for me given that i'm in a supply area where i know we are we are likely to be selling and i get this rejection which means this high here we are not reaching out for it remember this one was a by the way that in case we come and break above here then it will be a bullish market structure but now we get this long rejection that you're seeing just over there now for me i mark out here which means for me in this area here i cannot take any buying entries you get remember this is a rejection here now you're going fine now this is it for me my bias however good the setup could be to take buying entries i cannot take buying entries but when i get a reversal pattern here in this zone here in this area here a reversal pattern which means to sell then i'll sell because remember i know i'm reaching out for the laws here you get and remember uh, let me not even go further side so now that's it now what do i do next now i've gotten the bias remember we're in a supply area you get we are in a supply area and then by the way why do i mark out this uh these uh rejections here these rejections when you go on smaller time frame are going to be they are going to be they are going to be consolidations you get they are consolidations so which means even this point here this point here that you're seeing here if you go on boom and boom 1000 and then you go on a weekly time frame you may find that this area here this was a candle kind of rejection you get this was a candle kind of rejection so this one th that thing comes after time after you doing a lot of back testing so i'm going to go to h4 at least i'm sure I'm sure. Remember, this is the daily time frame. When I get a reversal pattern here, this one at least will be my TP1. But remember, I know I have to go below it. But at least I can accumulate a lot of orders here, a lot, a lot, and then I take partials here because I know we shall be continuing at least a little bit down. You get. Remember, this is a, the daily time frame. So I go to H4. So here we are on H4. Remember, these are the red these are the reds because we saw we got a rejection you get we got a rejection uh, and then this has been our target at least this has been our target that i've been showing you there on the daily time frame so you can see here we are here we are on h4 now this was the rejection on the daily time frame remember remember what are we looking at we know given that on the daily we had reached a supply area where we are expecting a, uh, a reversal pattern we were expecting a reversal pattern so we are going to be looking at the market structure here so this was the candle that was rejecting the first candle that rejected and then the market came back into the zone remember remember now when we come into the zone you get when we come into the zone we are going to be looking if at all the market turns back again we get our reversals now on this second leg here you get on the second leg here then we take entries in the end i'm going to show you something really important so now 
we can see that even on 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 h4 we have these candles here now this was the part on the daily that gave us the rejection now we came back into the zone now here we get rejections again you get we get we get uh they are called dodges yes we, they are called dodges so when you look at this area here you get when you go on a smaller time frame this area that you're seeing over there it's going to be a consolidation you get it's going to be a consolidation so let's go to h1 let's go to h1. so here we are on h1 you get h1 then what are we seeing on h1 remember this was the comeback into the zone we are coming back into the zone watching what is going to happen here now we can see that even on h1 the market consolidates it shoots up a little bit you get it shoots up a little bit and then uh even here there's nothing much to do on h1 but we let's go to m15 we are going to go to m mt5 and then i'm going to show you about what how you should be marking up your charts on a daily basis so here we are on m15 here we are on m15 and now yes now what are we seeing on m15 now we can see this here the market was coming back into the zone and what are we seeing on m15 we can see that the market on m15 broke some kind of high here we get we broke that high let me change the color to blue the, we broke structure here so given that i'm in the selling zone you get given that i'm in the selling zone and now i've started breaking structures down you get for me when i break this structure i can get in here now sometimes you need to measure you get you need to measure how how how, how your stop loss where your stop loss is going to be let me measure something uh-huh so if i got in in that zone you look you look this is i'm risking 0 0.42 you get 0 0.42 you get no there's something um anyways let me just quickly show you your stop loss at least sh you should be able to hold uh a loss up to just that point if i told the market really reverse back and went up up and beyond that point then you'd be out but remember it's going to be really hard why you can ask why you see this area here where you're seeing this red line here these red bands here that i've drawn it is a rejection you get and then we went above trust me it's going to be hard for the market to come above be, beyond this you get so here you'd just get in now you just sell and then i've showed you on the day time frame it's a very 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 far target that is just down this this side but there's something i want to show you on mt5 before i close off the video so this is the same chart for boom 1000 uh on the daily time frame you get on the daily time frame this is the part that we've been looking at these are the laws that we are reaching out for the take profit area you get tp1 actually so which means from this point if at all you got in here here you can stock a lot of orders and then here you're on the right because you know you're targeting these laws over here but it's something i want to really show you let's go to uh, let's first go to h1 let me h4 i mean and uh, this is h4 and then you can still see this is the area that we'll be looking at you see uh sometimes mt5 is not really flexible uh this is the area you can still see uh on mm -hmm. so you can see that is the area where that we got above you get that we got above and then I want to go to up to m15 uh -huh. so on m15 let me just zoom out a little bit now this is what i wanted to show you let me turn on the period separators here now this is the first rejection on 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 trading view that we we, we marked out you get this is the candle you can see that it was a day you get a day now it was a day of rise into it was a day of rise into the supply area and then we got a rejection that we marked off the rejection started from here so now the, the market came down and then we got back into the zone 
I told you in this zone, we would be looking for selling opportunities. Now, the second day was for reversing into the zone. Now, the third day, you get the third day, the third day, the market broke the structure that we've seen there. You get this is the structure that we've broken. You get so now each candle, this is how we are getting the bias. Now, if at all on this day we got the reversal, you get we got the reversal. Sometimes uh, meta trade five is annoying. These things give, uh, let me just leave it. So we got the reversal. Now, what would you be doing the next day? The following day, I told you, this is a reversal. Now, I told you at one point that when we get a sideways consolidation, the market ranging, going sideways a little bit. Remember, this is an imbalance. You can see that you're seeing few buyers, you get. The moment we get this sideways thing, trust me, you just get in. Personally, it's one of the signs that we're not coming back here to mitigate this area very soon, you get. And then here you would just be selling. Now, for this day, you know, because you know on the daily, you get, we are reaching out for this point that you're seeing here, you get. We are chasing that point. So which means on every day, you get, every day here, you would just be uh, looking for an entry pattern you can see the market closes just as it's going it provides you with an opportunity the following day you just sell you get you sell you sell because already you got the bias not until when you reach at least these points here and then you start getting skeptical you get you can see that later on we started to get uh rejections you get rejections and now what would you do if at all you got the first rejection you see, there is this candle that you're seeing here, the red candle that you're seeing. It rejected. You highlight the same thing. Remember, I told you, we, we measure. We can measure off this. And then we start looking for the possible targets. You get where is level 50. These are the areas that we are looking out for. Then at least you can buy somehow. You get. So basically, that's what I wanted to share. That's how we can get. Uh, the daily bias on boom and crash using price action. But then you, you need to blend in a lot of knowledge, a lot of concepts. You can blend in the fair value gaps. You can blend in the imbalance you get. So it's a very, very, very big uh, package that you have to put together, not just looking for these small confluences. So it is, you're getting the bias on the daily, but then uh, you need to apply other techniques as you're getting in, you get. So basically, that's what I wanted to share. Uh, I recommend that you subscribe. If I told you you've enjoyed this uh, this content, uh, you can leave a comment down below or you can text me also on Telegram. The link is going to be in the description. I wish you the best and peace.